We are live. Good evening and welcome. It's seven-ish. <laughs> yeah. A few technical problems. If you could see what I could see, it looks like a flight deck. Uh, Lindsay's getting all techy techy. So we're getting uh, there slowly. Hopefully this evening we've got an addition of two mics, so you can listen to Lindsay instead of listening to me all evening. You've got both of us. So it's the Lindsay and Ian show on Spray Make Sense at seven o'clock. We've not been around for a couple of weeks. Can't believe it's been like what two, three weeks since we did this. I know it's scary. So. Guys, do us a favour, just give us some thumbs up if everything's good, if the picture's good, if the sound is good, and we're all cool. Well, we've got sound, well, you've got sound. Have you got sound? We have, yeah, brilliant, okay, well that's, we're halfway there. Right, so that's it, so we, you should be able to listen to both of us for a change, which is really, really cool. The new addition we've got is, we're trying to do a lot more visuals. Okay, so when we talk about uh, obviously some of the products, some of the things we've been working on, some of the problems that you guys have got, we can now run photos and videos. Is it clear? I mean, are you guys happy? Does that look good on Spray Make Sense? Steve's saying he can hear a bit of an echo. Okay, I think that's just the account. Uh, the it academy. might just well be the academy, yeah. Jack's just said not on SMS. I'm not quite sure what you mean there, Jack. Are you live on Spray Make Sense or have you logged in somewhere else? I was, I was just checking. <laughs> um, no, we should hopefully be all right. Um, we'll oh, see, see, we'll see. Marek's given us the wrong number. Well, no, Marek's given us a different yeah, number. Yeah, at what five past seven. Marek, yeah. you're brilliant. <laughs> okay, I have been trying to phone you for two days now, but hey. Oh, dear. All right, so we've got a few people on. We've got Steve. Hi, Reese. Hi, Ian. We've got Frosty and Frosty on. Oh, okay. Evening Father and son. Scott, evening, Gav. Reese says, where have you been? Where, where haven't we been, I think, is the key. Evening, Ryan. So. Yeah, it's been a, mere, a mad couple of weeks, really. I don't feel like our asses have hit the floor. Well, we'll go through that in a minute. Yeah. So. Right, okay. Where are we at, Linz? Oh, I'm, I'm at... I've, I've <laughs> Honestly. Oh, dear. So, what have we, who's our show sponsor tonight? Our show sponsor tonight is... Oh, no, it's not going to go to that, though, is it? It's going to talk about Fav, so that doesn't work. Oh, okay, no, just bring one up, okay? We, we are... <laughs> it's a work in progress. It is Very a slick. work in progress. There you go. Our show sponsor this evening is Isomat. Okay, we're going to be talking about some of the products. We're going to be spraying some of the products. We've done a little bit in the past, but we're really starting to get into this. So, later on... In about 10, 15 minutes, we're actually, we've got two machines set up tonight. Can we kill that? I'm trying to work out how. Lindsay's getting a ping, ping. Okay, we've got two machines set up this evening, so yeah. we're going to be spraying walls. It's because it's on your iPad. And we're going to, just put, pull down, try and get rid of it. Oh, you can't, it'll I come can't up here. Come up <laughs> we're getting there. I wonder oh. if I can uh, put it through here. Let's see. It won't, because it will. The iPad will still come up as well. Oh yeah, it's not linked to that. Right. So we've got some prizes, haven't we? That Marek sent over. Marek sent some prizes over. I'll what just grab those. Okay. Um, we we keep asking for. Everybody likes a T-shirt and everybody okay. likes a cap. Steve Old is a particular fan of a of a baseball yeah. cap. I like a T-shirt because they're nice and easy to post out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's all about me. Oh, you can't sing. Stop. Right, okay, so what we've got is we've got some white t-shirts, okay, in different varying sizes. I believe we've got, Marek's been really good. We've got a medium, two large, and two extra large, okay? We've got no FB this evening, have we? No. Okay, and we've also got one of these um, polo shirts. So these are the giveaways this evening. We do like giving away, obviously, the t-shirts. So we've got some questions for you guys. You might want to go to the webpage start having a look at Isomat because the questions are going to be geared around obviously the company. So we are going to be asking you questions as the show goes on. Right, so where have we been Linz? <laughs> Reese says there's no point in him winning it then. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, hang on a minute, hang no on, cats. step back Reese, step back, pedal back, pedal back. I'm sure Bobby would look really good in a medium. He would look lovely. Or she might look better in a large at the moment. Well, I'm 
I don't know how she's getting on. She still look lovely in a medium. <laughs> she just may be stretching it slightly in places. Okay, fine. Right, so... So, yeah, so we're going to run a few questions, aren't we, to win some of those T-shirts. Yep, so... Um, where have we been, Linz? Oh, where haven't we been? I'm going to have to stop this from coming off. Um, we have been to Bob. And one of the... Oh, no, I changed the question, didn't I? So, actually, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we were in Germany last Wednesday, Thursday. Yes, uh, it was huge. I mean, I've spoken to some of you guys, you've found me up, see how we got on. Uh, we've talked about it, we've done a blog up that's coming out. We should have got that ready for tonight, but we've been crazy, it's crazy busy. It's ready to go, but yeah, we just need some time at home to do it. It was huge. I mean, it was absolutely ginormous. We knew it would be big, but to be fair, it was, we, yeah. we massively underestimated it. In all fairness, it's only every three years. I would say pretty much every member of Spray Makes Sense in three years' time, should be heading over to Cologne. It's in Munich, isn't it? It's in Munich, next one. Yeah, yeah. sorry, you're right, it's in Munich. 2022, yeah, no, it's If you're in the industry, you've got to be there. It's massive, so... Go on, keep scrolling. Oh, sorry. I was going to go back to the beginning because I kind of popped one through. Okay, some of the things that we saw that were there that obviously uh, stoked our interest, to say the least, was this beast. Some of you have seen the video that we've done. The new one from Wagner, isn't it? Yep, we put a video up on uh, YouTube, which was spraying with this. This is new Wagner, it's a screw pump, it's for plaster. It's got a fantastic little uh, bag roller. It's really compact. It's, it's really, really awesome. I got to have a play with it, and that was really good. I didn't want to put it down. However, don't get too excited. It's a 230 volt, okay? It's, it's, yeah. Although it's 230 stroke 240, yes, we can use it, but it's going to pull a minimum of 16 amp. Yeah. We can only run 13, still a problem that we have. They are going to look at this hopefully in 110, so we'll see what happens. But they've just demoed it. it, it was really, really good. What else do we have? The HC750 110 is on the water, isn't it? So that should yes, be coming we've, ASAP. Yes, we've heard a rumour. I've actually seen the email, so all being well, we should be getting those as well. Mm -hmm. So, cool. What else do we get? Oh, tapes. Oh, this was awesome. I, I was like a kid in a sweet shop. It's like a candy shop. Uh, this was, if I think... you like tapes. Yes, which I do. So, where was this one? I think this was Storch. This was Storch, yeah. This was Storch. Which, um, the UK division is Surrette, isn't Surrette it? Surrette so is them, them. There were so many good tapes. Keep going. Okay. The Grey Coast stand. That was, that was pretty cool. That was a really, really cool stand. Um, they, they've got this new tech spray, which we played. This is 110, okay? So this is coming, and this is 110. This will, I think he said, go up to some serious, serious aggregate. I mean, the, the, the thickness of the hose is about the size of my wrists. No comment, Linz. I know I've got girly wrists. <laughs> Not saying anything. Okay. Right, keep going. Um, Caparol was huge. Stand was huge. It was, they actually had this huge bar. The thing is with it, everywhere you go, there's free beer, free drink, coffee, tea, water, Cokes, everything's free, food, everything. They're just like sitting you down and having really, really good business. So it, it was just an awesome place to go. It was just really nice to, I suppose, just sit down, chat and do some business. Keep going. Yeah. So we said about the HC750 coming in 110. Yep, apparently so that's on the water. Apparently the audio's quiet, so we might just have to chat up a little bit, which makes a change. Okay. So, uh, yeah, their new Bluetooth technology, which was interesting. We were chatting, weren't we? Yeah, I was chatting to Martin, which was one of the, the guys on the stand. We, I was on there for about half an hour. We did a whole video, which we're going to break down into probably about, I don't know, uh, three or four different videos talking yeah. about the Bluetooth. To be honest with you, when, when I first heard about this, I thought it was going to be a bit gimmicky. But I've got to be honest with you, I was looking at it from uh, a time analysis perspective of how much literage. What they've done is really good, but I've already got in my head a way of maximising on this. It'll tell you exactly how much you've used. You can, put, you can set different jobs up, which like we said, we could set up as like walls or ceilings or yeah, woodwork. We could set them up as projects jobs. or parts of projects. Yeah. So that was really good. Uh, one of the things I did do, which I'll do again tonight on the PTA support group, is I showed these guys 
I've shown Greco, I've shown Wagner, I've shown Chris Berry, I've shown pretty much everybody how to save 17 minutes every time you use a machine. You were here showing um, Wayne yesterday from Farron yep. Ball as well. Nobody, you? nobody sees, uh, we clean all our machines in three minutes and they don't believe me until I do it. When I show them how you can clean this machine in three minutes, they're just like, oh my God. Because most people are going to be about 20 minutes. So what else we got? Um, oh, pistons, that was really interesting. They've got three, so three new pistons, haven't they? Yes. This is their standard, okay, but this is like their pro exchange rate, so they actually pop out. I can't use this one, okay, uh, go back then, this one here. I can't use this one on my old Mark V, but I can use parts of it. Mm. The, the metal is different, it's six times, it will last six times longer than the standard metal at the moment. Okay, then we've got the Max Life, okay, which uh, it's, it's a rotary. Uh, Stefan's done a really good blog, and it's got this rotary. It will turn one, one full cycle in a 24-hour period. So what happens is, instead of it being static and you're getting cuts and grooves up and down your piston from the aggregate, let's say, if you're spraying plaster, what happens is this rotation makes makes it harder to cut a groove, so well it lasts longer. The wear's going to be more even yeah. as well. So again, it? that's four times, that's six times longer than the traditional rod that's in the piston. Uh, that's four times longer than this one, and can we move over to the Max Extreme? Can you just slide that a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Okay, there you go. Right, the Max Extreme has a ceramic sleeve wrapped within the metal, and that lasts six times longer than this one again. And it's still got the rotary system. I've done a video of this and I will cut it and do the blog because it is mm. really, really good. Endurance Chromex pumps. Yeah. Really, it's really, really good. Interesting. <coughs> well, obviously, it'd be interesting to find out what the cost is on each of those, but. I'll do a series on this one week, okay? Because what's really good as well is they've got, they've got a new um, packing. packing system, which is really, really good. It, uh, th there was tons of stuff. I mean, I was yeah. on that stand for ages. Keep going because we could do this all night long. This was interesting. Yep. What is it, Linz? So it's the SF23, the Wagner SF23, and they've got a bolt-on of a little compressor that sits on the front. So this is actually, it's a bit like, uh, I suppose, uh, Mike at Spray Tech, uh, no, Spray Man UK does. They've found something, they've done a modification. Mm. So they fitted, like I say, a mini compressor, and they turned the SF23 into a... Airless assisted. Yep. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. It's, it's a heavy beast. Because anyone that's already got an SF23 can literally just buy the compressor as an extra. So you don't have to buy the whole unit. You can just add it on. If we've got my friend Imran watching tonight, or Mr. Colin on, then I'm going to be pushing for one of them. <laughs> yeah. I'll just drop that in there. Just yeah. drop that in there. If and you want me to test it live here tonight, I'd, hey, I'm happy to do that. The one behind it, which I think we've got, we have got a photograph of, the one behind it has um, a, the heated... Oh, but this one here, on yeah, heated, it's got the heat exchange. Heated, yeah, and yeah. a heated hose. So yeah, that's, that's something that we, we're talking at the moment, but that's, that's further down the line. Baby steps, baby steps. Okay, for, for a, a prize, uh, what we, I'll give away one of my T-shirts, okay? You can have one of the blue ones with what, the spray. One of the one, dirty ones. One of the <laughs> dirty ones, yeah. It'll be all right, I'll just breeze it off with a little bit of uh, links. Okay, the best caption for this, okay, gets a, gets a t-shirt tonight, okay? So the best caption for this one will win a t-shirt. Lindsay will choose the caption as it goes on later on. Yeah. Okay, so the best caption for this one, as soon as I saw it, I knew what I'd be saying. <laughs> okay, move on. So we're at, at Isomap. <laughs> okay, um, we've used Isomap before, we've, we've been chatting to Marek, we want to get more exposure for the product. We want to test the product. We want to use the product. Uh, we've started using it on our own projects. We've used the primer in that, haven't we? Which well, the is primer's really good. The primer that we've got, he dropped some primer off the other day, and I've actually taken it on site. So that's yeah. on site at the moment. And then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to test all of the, the woodworks here. Uh, Lindsay was looking on the website, and if Marek's on, on the website it says that you've got satin and gloss, but it doesn't mention eggshell. Yet I've got eggshell satin, and well, I've got satin in the in the machine at the moment, which we're going to spray shortly, and then we've got gloss and eggshell here. Okay, uh, and according to the website, they only come in two and a halves. So we'd like it if they came in fives or tens, tens preferably, because we got as a sprayer, 
Uh, as a decorator, I think that's fantastic. As a sprayer, we want to be able to get 10 litres of most of the gear. Okay? It's just a preference for us. Okay. What we've got this evening, is there anything here you want to go through first? Just looking at the comments, thinking, what was, what, what? <laughs> and I've just realised it's the caption that. It's the caption. Random, like, please, Lord, make it grow was one. And the other one was, you want how many? And then someone put, praise the Lord, it's Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mine was like, oh, please, please, stop. Stop yeah. talking about tip. <laughs> please. Okay. They so were getting the arse with us, weren't they? Because we were taking up that guy's time and there were loads of people at the stand. So, not the arse. I mean, not no. the arse, but it was... Even the owner came up and he was like, yeah, we, you know, we need to get tip into the UK. I said, then you need to talk to us because it's, it's going to happen. Trevor's saying Caparol do tens. So they may well have tens of the... Uh, Isomat or Caparol? Isolac. You just no. said Caparol? Yeah, but... But paint track sell the Oh, I see what you're saying. My apologies. Yeah, yeah. Who said that? Trevor. Right, okay. Um, right, there's a few things here that I'm going to be testing myself. This was one of the products that Mary was really um, quite excited about. It's Primer Professional. This is... Bring it forward and then we might yep. be able to see it on the... This is something that Mary was talking about, which is a uh, plasterboard stroke plaster sealer. So uh, technically a miscut. But he's saying, I think he was saying that you can put over 60 to 80 percent, pretty much even double this. It just goes, it goes crazy. If Marek's on, he'll tell you how far. I haven't tested it yet, but this, it was, it was crazy. I, I think this, no, I think it's even further from this, would create 40 litres. Wow. 40 litres. It's, it's like, um, it's just like concentrate. Even their, their Isolac, their woodwork paints were saying that you could, to spray, you could thin 20 to 30. I'm using it neat tonight, but th that's how I like working with most of the products to start with. Um, but yeah, I will push it. I, what I find with these products, I was asking you where the uh, micron gauge was, mm. because I think the microns are these are incredibly high. Did you find it? Uh, you no, look. I didn't look. <laughs> I carried on. So the whole range is very different. You know, if you want technical information and guidance, uh, Mary is really, really knowledge knowledgeable about his products yeah. and passionate about his products. And also, if Paint Shack are selling, oh, Marek, he's, he's here. There Marek you go. Um, also, if Paint Shack obviously sell the products, and Steve is like mega knowledgeable on paint and that as well. Yeah, we're going to do some time with Steve. Yeah. Uh, I've just got to pin him down. So we used the isomat on the courses at oh, courses on Saturday, didn't we? We got the Cyber 23 st sticking in the background for Steve. Is Steve yeah. on? No, I haven't seen Steve yet. Right, what were you going to say? We used this on the courses on uh, Saturday, didn't we? Yes, uh, really good obliteration. We, believe it or not, this wall was perfectly white, ready for testing the, uh, the projector. My lad, during lunch, my, my, young, my youngest son, came in here and sprayed two coats on the walls. It, it literally was white as white. Marek is saying the Primer Professional dilutes 300 to 400%. There you go. Wow. That's pretty crazy. There's already a wow. Well, um, <laughs> there you go, Marek. That's pretty Blimey. cool, isn't it? Two, two wows on it, Marek. Uh, to, to be honest with you, Marek, I know that uh, you know, we've got a promo coming. Okay, you guys have seen that Marek is going to give you 30% off the uh, recommended retail price. Um, tomorrow. That's, that's something you saw with, with Marek, but I would say get some. And Marek, maybe think about uh, maybe doing a price on this one. Get it out get some of these guys, get some feedback, get some video. I, I, we're going to do it ourselves anyway, you know that. Mm -hmm. The other thing that Marek's going to do, which is really, really good, I think mainly because his, his location isn't too far from here. He's coming down here for a day to two days and we're just going to do a load of filming. And we're actually just going to go through all the products. We're going we're gonna to go through the technical side of it, um, the reality side of it, the testing side of it. And then after that, I'm going to take it on site and I'm also going to give it to some of the team uh, so some of the lads on here that we do a lot of stuff with, yeah. they're going to be getting some of this as well. So Marek's saying that's the, the cheapest miscoat equivalent out there with guaranteed results. So That's pretty cool. And um, so to be honest with you, it's quite nice to be able to just carry that in as a little one instead yeah. of carrying like... You well, if you said to a client, I'm going to miscoat your whole extension... And you walked in with two of those. Colin's on as well. Evening, Colin. Evening, um, so mate. Carl, that's the, what is it, the primer professional it's called for miscoats. Yes. Uh, so it's a wall primer. To be honest with you, just ask about it tomorrow. If you phone up the shop, you'll get the code in a minute. Come a bit closer. Okay. Uh, speak to Marek about this. I think...
this needs some real testing. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it, it needs some exposure. I want to give it a whiz. I want to see what it's, what it's about. Yeah. One of the other things as well that we were talking about, this is going to be a whole different series. This is going to be an independent series that we do. This is block primer and everybody seems to keep using the word block or primer or sealer or this is another encapsulator. Is it? So it's another encapsulator because... For woodwork? Yeah, I believe so. Um, it just says stain blocker, so I don't think it's necessarily for woodwork. I don't know whether it'll do tannins. We'll, we'll put it through the test because mm. we've got some doors that we've primed and the tannins have come through really good. So we've got quite a, little, quite a lot of uh, surface area. So we're going to do the cap hole one. Uh, we're going to do a multi-stop. Uh, Morels have got a really good one, apparently. So we're going to go through pretty much all the encapsulators. Job have got one as well, haven't yep. they? We could try. So we're going to go through and see um, uh, and try and help you guys understand, and myself, you're, I, I like playing with paint, you know that. What was that? Hello. Okay, isolate aqua. That's what we're going to be using this evening. Water-based enamel, okay, premium quality. They do some really good corks. Uh, again, we've only just started using it, so I'll give you some feedback on that. Carry on. So that's uh, the same weird Deja thing. vu, yeah. okay. Isomac Classic. Marikal have dealt with you with this. I went down to uh, their head office, spent a bit of time, and there's, there's, there's Classic, there's Colour, and then there's Classic Professional. So there's different levels of... Mm. It's good because obviously... Um, it's, it's, got, it's got good branding, good name, but I think Mary was saying they, they are going through a, a branding change, so some of the names might change a little bit, so just, just bear with us on that. Right. Carry on. I was just looking to see if I could find out. These were just some pictures of the stuff that we had. Yep. The um, primer is really good. You might have seen me a few months ago spraying the primer. Over black, wasn't it? Was yep. that one you sprayed over yep. black? Yeah, it literally bang, And it went off like a rocket. You've just sprayed it over here, haven't you? No, that's okay. actually the eggshell. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. it goes off like a rocket, and it's not. It's not. It's a nice temperature in in, in here this evening. It's caught. Lindsay sat with it on. <laughs> Wrapped say, up. It's not that, that yeah. nice. I have got two t-shirts on, so there you go. Right, carry <laughs> on. I want to do some spraying. I'm desperate to start spraying. Right. So tomorrow, okay, um, you get thirty percent discount off the recommended retail. Okay, the usual thing at the end of the day, will a link will go up, you follow through, okay, you'll get a messenger with the code, and it'll give you a phone number, phone the guys up, bosh. Uh, it's only for tomorrow, okay, we will probably send you another text tomorrow just to give you a reminder, just to make sure that you grab, I mean 30% is, is well, bloody massive, good, yeah. it is massive. Is anyone else having an issue with sound? I've got Andrew is saying um, there might be an issue with sound, so let me know. If it is, he thinks it might be him. So give me a thumbs up if you can hear us. And a yeah. sad face if you can't. <laughs> right, okay. It sounds like it's all right. So it might just be, it might just be Andrew at the moment. Maybe so he's just, I don't know, maybe he's, where's Andy from? Because he, he might just not be able to understand my dulcet tones. <laughs> no, Steve's saying that sounds fine. Okay. Just loads of thumbs up. Okay, cool. come on, carry okay. on. Okay, so... Are you going to do some spraying yes. first? Yes, okay. Because we'll on to the next fine. bit. Fine. Do you want to give a couple of t-shirts away before we... Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's give away uh, a medium and a large to start with. Okay. If you're a medium, okay, this is your question. This is, you, you, can, you can, if you're a large and you win a medium, that's, that's down to you guys. We've only got one medium. One medium, okay. Can you read that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slide over. Okay. For the medium, where were, where were me and Lindsay last week? Okay. Where were we last week? So the first one, tell us where we were last week, can have the medium. Okay. The large. Okay. Where is Isomat UK based? Okay. Where are they based? That's for the large. Okay. So you've got two... Questions there. Lindsay's looking at the moment whilst Eric's I set up. Eric's saying decorators need to eat more. Um, Frosty's saying, what are the supply logistics like for Isomat products? Well, you can get them direct from Isomat. I think there are a few other places. I know Paint Shack sells it. Yep. Oh. Maricool puts them up. They're actually doing business with uh, Grab Arts, is it? Um, I'm not sure. Maricool, tell you. Warehouse in, 
um, can't tell you where because it's one of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So what use brain do I need to shift the okay, let's, camera? Right. As you can see, we were we were spraying yesterday. Uh, this is what was this? Barrel ball modern eggshell Jit in uh, Jit uh, Jit Jitney. Jitney. I managed to do that without looking at the colour. Okay, colour. we were spraying here with the Farron Ball stuff, testing some of the products. This was Farron Ball Modern Emulsion in Jitney. And I've got to be honest with you. I wasn't sure about the colour at first, but. It's funny because, to be honest with you, this bit here, okay, is one coat, and from here through is two. And we, you, you, can't see, the you can't tell the difference. Because when we did the first coat, there was a little bit of banding where it was drying. Second coat, absolutely nailed it. I mean, it is... This is me. This is live. This, again, is good. You're, it's paint, okay? I know we're doing isomat tonight. That's the key. This has given us a really good base to go over so with... What, what are you spraying? I'm going to be spraying um, the isomat Classic, okay? I'll just run through with you what I've done is I literally just open the tub, okay? There's a few people, so Bromber, Sellit, Rab Art, Kevin Maxill, Paint Shack, Painters World, brilliant. So, right, it, look at that, that's really quite thick gear look. I mean, that, that's, that's quite a thick mix. Mm. Okay, what I did do was I uh, put it in the hopper. We are using one of the old SF23s. Uh, we put it in the hopper. I did add a little bit of water, okay? Um, I'm going to see my work, my work table now. Okay. So Colin Blessing brought this over yesterday, didn't he? Yeah. So we were, like I said, we were doing some spraying with Farron Ball, and we wanted to try uh, different machines, which was which was good. It's going to get a little bit loud. Frost is saying, "What's all this talking? Make sense. Get on with the spraying." It's not that loud, though. To be fair, that machine, it's really good. That's going to dry, I mean, look. Wow. Yeah. It's really fixed the tropic. You've made a right mess of that board yeah. now. That's what I do. This is going to get plasterboarded tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't matter. Okay. It's really thick. Coverage on that's brilliant. Don't get me wrong. I could, if you look over here, there's a start of a tail, okay? I could put the pressure up a little bit, but if I do, I'm going to create more overspray. You've got to remember that the more pressure, the more overspray. So I am trying to uh, keep it quite controlled this evening. But I like to do that because I actually want to see how fixed the tropic is. And what I'm going to do, that, that's all one single pass. I'm going to double pass it, okay? Okay. See what it does. Yeah. I mean, technically, you know, that's, it has been thinned a little bit. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. So that's two. That's three. That's four. And let's see what happens. I like to push it. Let's but, see. Yeah, that's going to run where you've put the four on. You can see that now. Well, yeah, well, but we'll see, look. We'll see what it's going to do. You know, how is it going to sag? How is it going to dry? Obviously, I've, I've pulled it, but you can see how much gear I've actually thrown on. Also, as well, very little spit. Yeah. Good atomization. That's straight. That's the, is that HEA tips or standard tips? That was going to be one of my questions, but hey, you oh, just ruined it. Sorry. <laughs> No, we weren't. Oh, it was like, about. what tip? Are, it's even on there. What tip? Name, uh, yeah, okay, there you go. You just killed it, Linz. Okay. 
We'll see if people will remember. <laughs> if people remember, then you deserve a T-shirt. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll come back. We can see it's starting to sag here and here. Okay. Um, already, I mean, the coverage, that's it, but it's really white, white as well. Mm. It's a really white, when you white. Consider the, the colour behind it. Yeah, it's very good coverage. And that will dry fine. It will just dry fine. Okay, so what we're going to do now is these doors. Lin when I said to Lindsay, can you sand the doors? ready for the for the spray and we did yesterday well they were a bit of a mess so she got a little bit yeah a bit carried away when we bought these these are the, obviously just the cheap doors from wix which are about they, 15 quid they were panel doors but yeah. they're not anymore they are literally um they're like fire doors well you can see with some of these how many layers of paint are on there yeah look you can that one's brilliant. Please. It's like a it's like a stick of rock. It is, yeah. You can see all the different layers. These doors here are covered because um, I want to give those another coat before we finish. We're testing a product on there, mm -hmm. so once we've finished, I don't. I'm not going to say anything until we're done. Uh, but it is really good. No, I'm not using that one. Well, you could try and spray a door with emulsion if you like. But I know some of the guys. Some of the guys have tried, and I know some suppliers with certain products are, are actually saying it's okay to use. A wall primer as a wood primer. Uh, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it's it. Not worth it, just in case. Okay. So we Marek's saying question: How many scrubs? It'd be interesting to see what the, the scrub test is on on that paint. Okay, fair enough. It was seen as Lindsay killed my my question. Okay. Well, I think that's what Marek's saying. He's kind of replacing. There you go. So for the Isomat Classic, okay, what scrub class is that? Okay, mm -hmm. so that's one of, and, and what they're getting, they're going to get one of the, the other large t shirt No, that's the polo, the medium polo Oh, is shirt. it? Okay, Marek, that's your question. The polo shirt, Marek's giving you the question. He wants to know what the scrub value is of the Isomat Classic. First one to come up with that, Marek can choose, and they win the, the polo. I wish the nails were nice, Jack, they're a bit of a mess. That's why I pointed that way and not the other way. <laughs> Okay, what we've got here is, I'm, I'm going to spray one, maybe two doors. So what are you spraying now? Okay, we're spraying the ice lac, but we're spraying the, uh, the satin, okay? okay? There's no primer, but technically you could say we've primed it, and then we've just sanded the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. But I actually want to see what the adhesion is like, I want to see what the coverage is like. We're going to do one door, okay? But then what we're going to do is, again, I'm going to do one pass, two pass, three pass, four pass, and we'll see what happens. And then Lindsay can sand the doors again. Okay. Done my sanding for the year. Couple of top tips. I'm going to show you how we deal with the handles. Okay. So there's always times where handles are on. They just are. So you just got to work around it. But if you're right-handed, this this particular one is really awkward. You know, some people kind of come up and everything else. Okay. It's quite simple. Well, I say it's quite simple once you've got it. All we do is bomb against the door. You'll have to translate. So bum against the door, hand push them down, and up the crook of the arm. Spray up the crook of the arm. Is that pink? No. Oh, hang on. Ah, it's ah. the colouring from. Yeah, D well spotted, Linz. Mm. Okay, I have primed right. the machine and I have tested it, but the filter, I didn't clean the manifold filter, and the colour, that colour there, one of the main colour tints in it is red. So we've, y yeah. We've now got pink doors. So we've got, uh, Mary can do this colour, okay. <laughs> this is SMS um, candy pink. <laughs> Similar to the colour Rihanna wants her dressing table. Okay. So let's see how we get on. What size tip? What size tip or what type of tip? What size tip? Oh, we're going for what size tip now, are we? <laughs> <laughs> no one could read what size tip it was anyway. 
We should be able to see from the side. Okay, shall I give him another top tip or do that another time? It's up to you. It depends uh, how kind you're No, feeling. they'll have to come back for the next tip. <laughs> okay. Come back for the next door. Tip. Oh. One. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Shall we see? Yeah. Okay. Let me just finish that. Oh. Well, that's one and a bit now. <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five passes. Mm. That five passes, that's interesting. That doesn't even look like, well, the bottom looks like it's going to go. Mm. Don't get me wrong, this isn't something you would do, all right? But this is something that we do. The beauty of having a facility like this is that when you guys come and do training with us, we can push everything to its limit. It's okay? much nicer white than the pink. I don't know. I like the fact that we've gone for the two-ton. It's that blended look. It is, um, it's, it's ombre. working. Ombre look, yeah. Really nice, really bright, isn't it? Colour wise. Yep. And we'll see what it dries like. That's the satin, yeah? Yeah. It's only one cut, so technically. So as we're talking, we've got about another 20, well, probably about half an hour because we were running a little bit late. Okay? So, mm -hmm. right, just guys, seriously, safety, all right? You know, we, we are endorsing a massive amount of safety at the moment. So, trigger lock, tip halfway, okay? It's, it's just safety, safety. Gloves are just a preference. Mask is a necessity. In all fairness, um, one of our guys, Craig, had Scott come round to look at the spray of plaster, which was really interesting. He loved it. Craig was really excited. Put a video up, which was actually a really good video. And Jack hated doing it, but Jack, Jack did it because that's what Jack does and it's Jack's job. He said to Craig, really sorry, mate. Great video. No mask. Not happening. And I know people say when you're spraying plaster, you don't need a mask. All right, fair enough, maybe you don't. But to be honest with you, safe practice is safe, pra safe practice. So mm -hmm. if you're going to put up a good, a good video and you're going to do stuff and photos, which we all want to see, seriously, let's see, let's see wearing a mask. Okay. So we're going to have a look and see what this one's doing. That's flattened out really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look, see, all, it, it, that one's starting to run because of that. Yeah. But the rest of it hasn't sagged yet, as of yet. No. Yeah, that's impressive. Stephen's saying goggles as well. Yes, um, let's talk about goggles. Or oh, in fact, I want to, shall I try them on? Oh, yeah. Colin drops us off a Prezi. We've been wanting to try these for a while, haven't we? Yeah. Um, again, Colin's supporting us with different things. Uh, we're going to try and get some of these little beauties for, for the live show. Like, um, what's his name? I don't know. Ali G. <laughs> Me jewelry. <laughs> Even come with a little bag. How cool is that? These do look good. We generally use JSPs. But these look really good. Wow, they're good. Don't say anything. <laughs> she honestly, it doesn't matter whether I'm wearing glasses, <laughs> a hat, or anything else. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> That's 
was a chubby brown and then someone <laughs> said Adrian Mole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'm glad we don't take ourselves too seriously. Oh, I love my job. Right, get back to your job. They're supposed to be anti fog, but we'll see. No, he's right though. The reason is um, I've got glycoma, Jack's got glycoma. Who, who was your one? Bono, no, that's, that's, that's a Bono. good one. That Bono's must be good. A compliment. Yeah. It is. It is. It is um, look. Yeah, that one's going. You can see that. Clayton, what's been sprayed had to sign off from my kebab. But you'd expect that. To be yeah, uh, I mean, I, I don't pushing, want it to run here. Pushing it to its, its limits and beyond. Yeah. Yeah, this one's fine. It's actually flashing off already. Yeah. So if you can, you can yeah, you see can. it slightly. I can. Oh, you can, but that's no bloody good, is it? Oh, where's your snorkel? So, Clayton, we've just sprayed Isolac Aqua satin here in a lovely blended tone from pink to white um, and what was that one the isomac classic yep which is their emulsion. emulsion which again is really good so again two passes three passes four just to see how fix the tropic i did add water to that did you yes i did because right. I'd, I'd have had to really ramp up the pressure to get it through which you can mm -hmm. if you want coverage but uh, tonight, I don't like to create too much overspray. I don't think it gives a good representation of what we should be doing. Everything for us is dropping the pressure, dropping the overspray. You don't want to get your t-shirt dirty, do you? A bit late for that. <laughs> right, let's carry on. It's quarter two. On to the next bit. Is it? Blimey. Oh, look, William Murphy's following me. You don't know William Murphy, no. do you? Right. To be honest with you, don't take it personally. I don't befriend anybody. Back down. No, it's normally me that ends up adding people to you. Yep. Cool. So, we're going to put a link up later, aren't we? Yep. For the, to get the promo code, which will be valid tomorrow. Um, we need to change the phone number on it, don't we? Unless it's already... No, I'll change that before it goes change, up. Will it? Pardon? The link won't change anyway, No, I'll, I'll just need to change it. So. And it will be valid only at Isomat themselves, won't it? Yes. Just phone the number, yeah. speak to the guys in the shop. Uh, give them the code that we've generated and you get your 30% discount off the recommended retail price. Yeah. Cool. Right. What's next, Bev? Let's do one more giveaway. So we've given... Um, so have we done that one? Because you actually said what it was. Okay. I know, that's what I'm saying. I, but didn't you change it? No, Marik's got... Marik asked a question for this one, so you're yep. going to have to keep a note for that. I, I'll go back to that. The, all sorry. these... Lindsay will go back, okay, and if you can figure out who said it, who won on the first bit, she'll tell you. But if not, she'll just go back, look at the names and everything yeah, else. Sometimes so the timeline's different for what it comes up on here as to what actually... Okay, for one of the extra large, okay, Isomat, okay, where are they from? Okay. Where is Isomat themselves from? Where's head office? Where is the paint made? Where's head office? Mm -hmm. Cool, right. But you did, you did do a medium and a large before, didn't you? Yeah, so I think we've got one extra large left and one large. Yeah, okay. I think we've got two left. So do you want to do the, actually it'll get too confusing to do the other Okay, leave ones, it at that yeah. for two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Which country, oops, which country does Isomat come from? There you go. Right. On to the next bit, Bev. Cool. So this, do you want to start with this one? Yep. Now. We've had a new course, a fine finish course. So we had a wicked time in Preston, didn't we? Yep. Um, the reason for this is, uh, like all the courses we do, we keep getting asked. We get asked for, well, to help with HVLP, XVLP, and compressor. So, keep going. It will bring them all together. Yep. And the reason being is, I mean, like Jack, this gun, okay, we were spraying really well, and Pete's absolutely engrossed with what I'm saying. You know what? It was really it was a really good day i learned so much this gun i think jack will tell you was 11 quid no i think that one was a little bit more that was about 20 that one. Oh uh, wow okay that's a big spend for jack yeah I mean mr ebay man yeah exactly carry on okay Steve that's that's call. jack absolutely overwhelmed okay <laughs> or big smile on his face yep that's that's jack absolutely overwhelmed and that's 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 Pete looking as, as happy as... 
it, were, it was really, really good. They were really intrigued and interested with how, how everything sprayed. Yep, carry on. Okay, messing that around. was messing around. As you can see, what we everything we do at the moment, it's we're trying to figure out for you guys. We're helping you to work through the logic that Jack's done for years, I've done for years, and Pete's thought is that gun is uh, 270 quid. Okay, it's a beautiful gun, but to be honest with you, what we're trying to do is show you everything. We show you about viscosity, how to mix up the paint, and everything else. Oh, it's 17 pounds currently. 17 quid. On you go. Okay. Pete using, obviously, like I say, the Bliss. Um, this was a compressor set up. So this was a compressor set up. Carry on. Mm -hmm. And again, one. just spraying the doors. This is what we're working on is, obviously, how we thin, how much you thin. You'd be surprised. In fact, you'd be absolutely shocked what, what, what there is to learn on, yeah. on viscosity of dirt these certain products. These cups, though, aren't they? Yeah, we use these a lot. Carry on. Love that picture. Yeah. <laughs> they were, it were really good. Uh, we used, obviously, the grey core. We used the 9.5, which is obviously one of the HVLPs. We used the compressor, which was a gentilin. Carry on. We used the HVLP. We also used... Um, that was its first run out, that, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, and now again, we know that we've got a um, uh, suction got, cup. We've got a suction cup it. and a gravity fed. We didn't so realise we got the suction cup. We thought it's been it in a box for about two weeks. Well, it was tips and bits that we'd ordered so we'll have to try that one out yep so this is the job that we've just finished okay the point is as well the fine finish course it's coming we've got dates and everything else if you've got hvlp compressor or you're not sure to get the best out of it that's what it's there for this is one of the jobs that we've been working on okay this is where we say about good bad and ugly mm. okay i should have put a finished shot into it really just to show we've done a video up haven't we Yep. This week Some of you have one. seen it. This this is a rental property that we've just done. I like to. What I'm trying to to explain here is this was wood chip. We had to strip some of the wall, and we just spray plastered. But what we did was, again, the state of the place. It was it was grim. Carry on. Okay. We we're testing. Okay. Eight different products. Next one. Okay. Yeah, where's where's the products one? Okay, this is the concept. Not many people will go to this effort, okay? And not many people would actually, it takes time to change the machine over, try a different product, change the machine over, put it on, you know, lay it off, keep it in your head, make notes, write on the windows, do all the stuff to keep your information catalogued. Can I just clarify, you put tape on the windows before you wrote on them? Well, to matter, we could have layered <laughs> it, but yeah, you're right. So what we've done is you can see all the different products that we've used. And what, what scares me is the fact that I only usually get one reaction, which one's the best. Mm. That wasn't the case. The case was to see if any failed. Yes, there were better ones than others, but to be honest with you, the video will quite clearly show you spray plaster, which is obviously moving at a rate at the moment in the UK, and it's only going to get faster. Um, all of those products delivered. Okay? If I took you into that job, you would not know the difference. You would think it was one product throughout. You cannot tell the difference. Some dried quicker, some dried a little bit slower, some were easier to sand. Some took three coats, some took two coats. Some didn't give a particularly good fan pattern. Some trailed off really well. Okay? But for me, I've got a measure of all of those. Okay? I can use all of those, and I will use all of those, and it won't phase me in the slightest. So, spray plaster, the point is what I'm trying to say, some of you guys, take the product, test it, give it a good run. Don't just, don't take my word for it, because half the time I'm full of crap. <laughs> I think some of you guys realise that. My point is, my ethos is, if you want to get the best out of something, do your own testing. Start somewhere, yeah, take some guidance from some of the other guys, like I do with you know, some of the stuff that Jack does. So, take guidance and then do it. So we, these are just, um, so obviously some of the products that we used. Just the Mark V, quite aptly. Obviously the trowel in on and off. Liam prefers to use the trowel. I prefer the blade. Yeah, just Mitko preference. Yeah, prefers the trowel as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Again, using the bagar, quite aptly, with the bagar G. Obviously there. Uh, trowel in off. Mitko likes the trowel. 
Um, Jub, we were using 25, we used M50. Um, and again, good looking fella. This is the best looking fella we have on our firm at the moment. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I do. If I play this, it plays the sound as well. It will play the sound, so just work with us. This is funny. <laughs> Liam, it's fine, we can edit that out. <laughs> I don't want to play all of it. Though, That's fine. You can stop it. I'm trying to find out how. Okay, there you go. Honestly, she's the tech genius. Oh, dear. Go back. Thing is with it, uh, if you've sprayed plaster, you, it's fine. It's, it's easier than spraying paint in one way because it doesn't matter. You can just splodge it on the wall because you're going to trowel it off. With this, we, we, we put it on the first coat, but we take it off tight because we don't want that much moisture. Although it's only less than 5%, we don't want too much on. Okay, any questions? No, nope, not the minute. Cool, right. Damien's on, evening Andy. Okay. Um, so we've got the masking bundle, no. <laughs> we haven't got the masking bundle at all, we've got the... Um, PPE. PPE, that's Hello, name. hello. Oh, jeez. Honestly, it's, it's been, been a, a long day in a long couple um, of weeks. We're, we're going to run this for one more week just because of yeah, what we're doing. just trying to find the time to do it. I'll put the link up. Some of you guys have already clicked the link. Quite a lot of you have clicked the link, but I know full well you've clicked the link, but you haven't actually done what was asked of you, which is obviously to subscribe uh, because we do want to grow the YouTube channel mm -hmm. and everything else. We're trying to grow the community. The community grows. Uh, suppliers get involved and everything else. That leads us on to the suppliers. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna, have we got good, bad and ugly? Um, no. Okay. We like to do the good, the bad and the ugly, okay? So this is out to you guys. What we're after is the good, the bad and the ugly is quite simply what's been good about your week, what's been bad about your week and what's been downright ugly about your week. I always go first, okay? So good for us is Fab. It was really, really good, okay? Bad, Fab. Because I've come back, I must have done my hip or something. Because my leg Hell is absolutely. Oh, we were doing like twenty thousand steps mm. every day, uh, but I've done something to my hip, so that's not fun. So I'm really struggling at the moment, getting driving and sleeping and everything else. That's not good. Ugly wise, um, there isn't really. I, no. I can't think of anything. We we racked our brains for something that was downright ugly. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> Okay. Probably not being on site to get enough work done, I think, is probably... Uh, yeah, work is backing up, uh, backing up more than I anticipated. We've had some really good projects come in that we're pricing, so that's really good. So, got overall... A big one to price this week, oh, and I've got get two VAT returns to do, all by the 7th of April. Yeah, so that's busy, busy. That's the ugly. A lot of work mm. to catch up. Mm. So, everything's good. If you've got a good, a bad and the ugly, let us know. Okay? So... This week, we're just slowly slotting ourselves back into the live show, okay? We, we think this is a good move, so it gives you an opportunity for us to talk about stuff. We're doing the live spraying. We are going to talk about products. We're going to talk about machines. Uh, the suppliers have stepped up, which is fantastic. We've had a lot of meetings. We've had a lot of uh, great responses from the suppliers. Marek is 100% behind, obviously, trying to get... Uh, you guys more awareness of his products, which are really good. Evening, Stefan. Evening, Stefan. Um, so again, we've got these products. So it's a great opportunity to get them. It's a good price. Give them a whiz. They are, well, you can see we're already. I keep coming back and checking on these. We'll um, go back and have a look before. Yeah, we'll have a look just before you finish, and we'll check on these ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They've done exactly what I expected. Um, it, it just allows Lindsay to do a bit of work on Saturday. So, well, I'm running a spray plaster course, which well, is fully booked. I can't be sounding while they're plastering. Yeah, it's fine. So, I just want to say, like I say, a massive thanks to the suppliers, okay? Those that haven't stepped up, don't worry, because 1st of April, okay, <laughs> it's just bye-bye, okay? Uh, 
if you're not supporting the members or you're not supporting the group, then that's absolutely fine. Your know, social media is a, is a fantastic place to go out and uh, get exposure. But to get exposure within the, the, the spraying community, which is what we guys are, you need to be involved. Um, we want to grow bigger things, okay? This, the members want bigger things, and it's not for the members to um, st st you know, step up, stump up, mm -hmm. okay? That's down to the suppliers. We already, all of us, spend thousands and tens in, and hundreds of thousands with these suppliers. So the suppliers have to step up so we can actually grow this community because inevitably the suppliers are the ones that win every single week and they're the ones that will win long term. So we've got some really, really good things we want to work on. And any ideas that you would like us to work through, anything you would like to see, anything you want us to showcase, any particular products, any particular suppliers that you think that they should be getting involved, tag them in. But other than that, we're just every week we're just going to go through something. Okay? We are going to get a diary and we will give you a heads up of what's coming each week. Mm -hmm. Okay? And also what the discounts are and what the promotions are and what the goodies are. We've got some really good prizes as well. We've already got some on the shelves already from some of the suppliers. Uh, I'm not going to tease you with them. So <laughs> go back to the caption. Let's do the caption one more time. Okay, caption this. Okay, caption this, win a t-shirt. Okay, we'll give you one of the spray mix and t-shirts. Lindsay's going to go back, figure out what it is, and she'll make a comment on the post. Okay, any final questions from you guys? Is there anything we can help you with? Uh, we're here to help and support. Spray makes sense is quite simply, okay, training, education, and support. That's what we're good at, and that's what we focus on. Mm -hmm. So, we've got a few runs on, on these two. That's fine, that's dried. Abs in fact, that's, that's pretty much flashed off already, Linz. Let's go and have a look then. So I'll just put that one up. Yeah. And then we'll... And that's one coat of a, yeah. So our ombre door. <laughs> yeah. It's drying really well, isn't it? Yeah. I will try and get a second coat on that before we actually clean the machine out tomorrow. I've got to come down here tomorrow and set up for the plaster course. So I'll probably do that. So with this one, so this was one pass, wasn't yep. it? Or one coat. Two, we've had a little bit of a sag on that. Mm -hmm. But again, the, the thickness and the coverage of that is really thick. And again, look, we're talking, yeah. we, are, we are pushing the paint to its, right. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't do it normally, but like no, I wouldn't. pushing it to its limitations. No, I want, I want to see, I want to see. And that, that's, one, that's what happens when I spray. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run. So, oops, oops. Uh, this is fine. Okay, this is this Starting is. To dry in. I mean, that's a really good cut. That's that's two cuts of that is absolutely fine. Okay, I think again, this is fine. This is just round where we actually pulled the extra. But up here, yeah. it's absolutely fine. And again, here, okay, we've got a little bit of a sag down here. Look, so three is just going too far. Mm. Okay, you've not got that here at all. No. Thing is, as well, that though, that's where we kind of stop and start. So be aware. That's kind of like a, a fraction of a fraction of a, of a trigger pull. Mm. So it's not the top and it's not anywhere else. So that, that there is more to the case of where I've actually stopped and started again. It's just a fraction of a fraction hesitation. And that one, obviously, is only its run, but really just where you've put the number. Again, it's got no sag. I mean, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow and have a look at that. Obviously, that was sprayed side to side, though, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's still four passes, whether it's up or down or not. So... To be honest with you guys, you know, it's really white, it's really good coverage. I did add quite a bit. I'd, I'd say I probably added at least 20% into that. I didn't look on the data sheet to see what the sort of thin If Marek's still around, he will tell us what it is. Mm. And, and the question for the polo shirt, Marek was asking, what is the scrub rate of the Isomat Classic? Okay, the one that gets, the first one to get the right answer wins Marek's t-shirt, which is the polo shirt, which is a medium. Okay, and if no one wins it, don't worry about it, I'll keep it. Yeah. Will you? Okay. <laughs> um, Have we got so anything else, we've got, another, we've got another large, haven't we, to give away? Okay, another large, okay. Um, so just Marlon's just 
for, uh, for those of us who have four eyes, can you still have glasses inside those eye protect protectors? I realise it's hard after a hard day. Um, I probably would have said not, but because they're sat quite close to the face. Do um, I look sexy? Mm, close up, even worse. I would say not with those, if I'm honest. I remember when we did the presentation, first off, we had a set I want to I know if these are going to fog over. There's anti-fog. Yeah, but, but I'll we'll know see. that when I put my mask on. Yeah, Marek said you look like Ali G. I said that. <laughs> and you get some two XLs and then I can enter. Reese said the same. Okay, I think we've got... Uh, <laughs> someone being rude. I no, I can't take you seriously with them on. Who said that? You said that. Me, yeah. Oh, okay. Even um, Craig's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Eddie the Eagle, we've got a different one now. Eddie the Eagle, excellent. I think we ought to give a prize for the best name. Yeah. I'll give a t-shirt for the best name that was, uh, okay, the best, the best name you can come up with. Okay, for so Mr. that's for a large t-shirt. For yeah, a large t-shirt. <laughs> it's the ears. <laughs> They're the same ones I've had every year, Lens. They're... Oh no, maybe if I pull that up a bit, that's a bit better. Is that better? Does that that's, make me ears look bit, better? That's a bit better, yeah. Okay, fine. So <laughs> the best the best name Lindsay will choose because she's she's always Bumblebee. Uh, <laughs> she's always she's always fair. They are pretty fair. cool. Uh, Colin, any idea how much these retail at and and can we get them? I should think so, yeah. I think yeah, because Wagner do sell them. So they are really good. Um, I'll tag Colin in if he doesn't answer. When we do the training courses, um, we have to wear, obviously, goggles for the ceilings. Mm. So these are going to be very good for... <laughs> okay. Okay. And that one wins. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tell me or is it just that... Darren Whitfield, you win that one. Dr. Spock skiing. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Love it. Okay, you win a t-shirt, bud. Yeah, so I'll tag Colin in if not, so I'm sure Colin can get hold of them. Yeah, and they come with a little, uh, nice little bag. Cool. Right, um, Lindsay's going to put some links up as well to one of the uh, affiliate sites that we work with, which is Paula's, uh, trade decorator. She always runs competitions. She's got another couple of days on their timber build. So um, if you want to win goodies, you guys like a, a few competitions, head over to trade, uh, trade decorator. Okay, uh, to the competition section. Put yourself down, you can Have win some look. more goodies. Okay. On the uh, Isomat website, there's um, oh, yeah. a video of a free jumper. It's really, really cool. I'll put a link up to that as well. So more freebies. So just, uh, just some nice little bits for the end of the week for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, we've got courses Saturday, not Sunday. Um, I think some of the other centres have got Day courses. On oh, it's Mother's Day. That's why we didn't do it. It's only us that's got courses this weekend. I think. Okay, fine. So uh, it's all good. Um, any questions before we leave? We're going to head over to PTA support. Yeah, not at the moment, I don't think. Okay. Just obviously lots of answers to the questions that we've put up. So okay, Lindsay will go through those. I'm going to quickly do the, the change the phone number on the code. And we'll put the link up for the promo code for tomorrow to give uh, the guys at Isomat um, a call. Cool. And just keep us updated. You know, let us know what, how you're getting on. Yeah. Um, take advantage of the... Marek's going to be around uh, doing a lot of this over the next few months with us. So mm -hmm. you, you're going to get more than one opportunity to take advantage. Yeah, so let us know how you get on. Let us know what you think. Let's have some feedback. Yeah, let us know what products you've been using. Let's have some video and photo. Yeah, brilliant. Um, be good. Be good we all to need see. to learn, and, and that's what we're here for. Yeah. Cool. You guys have an awesome weekend. Um, take your mums out. Spoil them. Um, if you've got the kids, make sure they spoil your wife. <laughs> 